Why do you call these paprikas and we call them bell peppers? Because they are paprika leaves. Okay. The wood. <laughs> what are you going to make? I'm making kisela paprika, resana kisela paprika. So that's like sweet, sweet and sour. No, that's just like normal kisela paprika. But you have to put sugar, which I don't like, but it goes in with the recipe. So you use this as a winter sort of like salad or any time of the year? Uh, winter kisela salad. For the winter. So without a recipe, what do you do? You get you get you get the bell peppers, you get the paprikas. Yes, they you are. cut the paprikas. You cut the paprikas up? Yes, and then you need some garlic and parsley. So there's the garlic. There's the parsley. There's the parsley. And I'm also gonna put some oregano, dry oregano because I love the taste of oregano. Okay. Then you slice them up and you put them in here. You put them in here. With all this being the rubbish that will go into the compost. Yes, and then you mix uh, you mix oil and vinegar, and you mix sugar and uh, garlic and parsley. Mm -hmm. And you mix it very well, and then you cover the paprika. You put it in paprika, mm -hmm. and you cover it with something and let it sit for 24 hours. Yep. Uh, in that. In that, uh, how do you call that? In that, in, in that, well, in any container. That's no, a bowl. The, the, you, you don't put vinegar in plastic. Plastic. Uh, do you put it in a glass or in a pot? No, we'll put in a pot. In a pot. We have a huge pot. Yeah. And you let it stand for 24 hours. You stir in between. Mm -hmm. You keep stirring it. Yeah. And then when the 24 hours expires, then you place them in the jars. You. Like you tap them in a jar, so yeah. you fill them up, and then the liquid that it stays, paprika uh, releases lots of liquid, and the liquid from oil and vinegar and everything, you top it up with it. And that's your winter thing. This is a new recipe I'm trying, and I hope it's good. But I read the review on the internet, and uh, people love it. So people usually uh, freeze paprika. There's a lot there. Yes, so you're gonna help me now. How many how many jars are we gonna make? This is a five kilos. This is what I just brought out. So that that's that's different. Is that not the end product? No, this is a slightly different recipe. This is a tomato juice. You uh -huh. cook it in tomato juice, vinegar, and sugar, mm -hmm. and then you top it up with it. So this is gonna be completely different. We've never done this before. I never done this before. So this is the first time. This is the first time. This is more complicated to make, and I love this salad very much. But this one. It has a similar ingredients apart from tomato juice, and you don't cook it. This, you boil it. So, so we're not going to cook. Means the paprika will preserve. So we're not going to cook this one. No, that right one then. just stays in the brine. Okay. For 24 hours, and then we pack it up in the jars. Best I get a knife and, and this one has no garlic. Okay. So best I get a knife and start cutting up. Yes, please. Watch your fingers. So <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Belly? Well, you told me that you want these cut nice and thin into strips. So you can use your hands; you don't have to lift so that thing. Go. I like doing this actually. Tiny strips, David, not cubes. <laughs> it's a strip salata. It's a strip salata. So okay. what are we gonna so what are we gonna eat these with in the winter? Or is this for any time? You didn't say earlier. It's for any time, but usually pickled salads you eat in the winter in my country. Uh -huh. And you eat fresh in uh, summer. summer. Uh -huh. I don't know how is it in your country. How many how many uh how many kilos of these did your mum and dad grow this season? I have no idea, it's very hard to say. But a lot. But a lot. Probably hundred kilos. All grown in shit. All grown in dunk. Shit. Basically. No, no. I hope this is going on IGTV or... This is going on IGTV and Facebook. Be... This goes on both places. Okay, Mr. Bailey, I need to do some work. Okay. Say something to your audience. Something to my audience. <laughs> something audience. <laughs> Parsley and um, garlic. Garlic, yes. Garlic is the mother of taste. You love garlic, don't you? Garlic is my favorite. Garlic and onions. So you made this sauce, yeah? Yeah. What are you putting in it again? Oil? Olive oil, I put uh, parsley, garlic, sugar and salt. Mm -hmm. Sea salt. 
Um, and they've just poured all that into here. Yeah. It's actually wow. We're going to steal that. That looks like a rainbow salad. Could you call it rainbow? What name does it have? Kisela uh, paprika and resins. What's that in English then, Kisela? <laughs> uh, Sour. Sour, yeah. Pickled. Pickled, Pickled. paprika. Mm -hmm. This looks, it smells gorgeous. Now we need to stir it. She's going to get a big spoon. We have a big wooden spoon here. If you stir it, then I will film. Thank you, David. Cover all the paprika with the sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we'll leave it for 24. 24 hours? Yes, but we need to stir it in between. So that means you need to wake up 3 o'clock in the morning and keep stirring it. 3 o'clock in the morning? You're having a laugh? Does this stay outside though, in the cold, or does this stay in the house? No, but was it? Whatever. Whatever. Or we can put it outside. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is coated with the sauce. I'm doing that now. It really does smell nice. I think C Kathy Willemson will like this. She's just on a cooking course in Belgium. Okay, you, you can straighten up. Can I straighten up now? Yes, okay. you can. <laughs> Just to let you know I had a shave, especially for this. Excellent. Great, so lovely. Okay. You just put the top on, yes? Yes. Done. So, it's four hours later now. Should we have a look inside? Okay. Let's have a look inside. Wow. That has reduced. Yeah, significant. there's shrink from here. Because I, I can see the trays, so it mm -hmm. was up to here. Yeah. Did it say in the recipe Absolutely. that it would? It didn't say it would reduce, but it would say that it would be enough liquid because they leave their own liquid. Wow. Will it go down any more by the morning? No, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. But the house smells divine, like garlic. It's lovely. Well, it's a little over 24 hours later. It doesn't matter. It really... It did really reduce, didn't it? It did. So it's like putting it in and then you use the juice. To top it up. To top it up. But after you fill all the jars. It says on the recipe you press it down as much. It's actually my small, huh? Yeah, I think. So obviously we're going to fill up all of these and maybe more jars. But uh, once they're all filled up, I'm going to show you that you need to uh, put the juice. You need to get all the air out. Top up with olive oil. Yeah. That should be cool now. And then I use wax paper. Okay, so you saw all the process on the one jar, so we're gonna do that to until we spend all of this. And that's our winter salad, pickled peppers from our garden, organic, in olive oil. Thank you.